Okay, Nathan, you studied fine art at Cardiff Met. How did you get into art? Um, I've basically been drawing from as far back as, as I can remember. I can remember being, gosh, about seven or eight, and my dad used to draw Power Ranger portraits with me and things, and the posters that I had on the wall. And so then I sort of got into portraiture through um, school and college. And then celebrities have always been sort of a fascination to me. I've sort of always been fascinated by someone else's fascination with someone else. And so then that sort of linked quite well. And then throughout my university course, I decided to expand my materials a little bit and use everyday materials and try to relate them to the celebrity or pop culture imagery that I'm making a portrait of. Okay, and it's in um, 2009 you became like an online sensation. And how did that start? Because you obviously just started posting photos on YouTube, videos on YouTube even. Yeah, um, I just started, I thought it'd be quite cool to um, start filming myself in time lapse. So a portrait that would take me about three hours, I normally speed up to about two minutes. And I started to gather a bit of a following online. I'm just drawing celebrities and pop stars. And when that gathering sort of started to get really big, that's when I did my first portrait of Simon Cowell using Marmite on toast which was inspired by a newspaper headline saying you either love him or you hate him. So I thought, love him or hate him, Marmite, Marmite on toast, Simon Cowell. That's my first ever unusual portrait that I created. And then in 2011, you went on to Britain Got, Britain's Got Talent, which obviously is judged by Simon Cowell. Had he anything to say about the portrait? Yeah, um, he actually, he wasn't at my audition because that year it was Michael McIntyre, Amanda Holden and David Hasselhoff. But then he came back at the semi-final stage, which I was lucky enough to get through to. And backstage he said that it was bloody awesome, which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's nice from Simon Cowell. Yes, definitely. Definitely. At the moment, what you're known for is your celebrity kind of culture portraits. I yeah. don't know if that's the proper term. What was it? Sort yeah. of, um, pop culture imagery, yeah, sort of anything to do with in the media and the newspapers and magazines. And at the moment, the headlines are with the Miley Cyrus drawing. How did that come about and why Miley Cyrus? Um, when I started to experiment with different materials, I also started to experiment with different ways of actually making art. So I've made art using my fingerprints, a portrait of Nelson Mandela, mm -hmm. because of his legacy to do with um, identity. And also um, David Beckham and Sai, the Korean singer, using my feet, because they're famous for football and dancing. So when I noticed that Miley Cyrus was starting to become a little bit more exaggerated in her character and poking her tongue out a lot and going a little bit crazy, um, I thought it'd be brilliant to attempt to make a portrait using my mm -hmm. tongue. So I dabbed a bit of non-toxic paint on the end of my tongue, and an hour and a half later, um, the portrait was created. And it's an amazing portrait. Do you know, has she seen it? I know Perez Hilton has blogged about it, so... Yeah, I'm not aware if she's seen it yet, and unfortunately she hasn't tweeted me or anything, but Perez has blogged about it and put it on his Twitter, so hopefully she has. And um, we both have friends in common, obviously the British girls, that's how we met, and you did their Love and Money video. Yes. Tell us a bit how about that came along. Um, Adele from Bewitched has been following me on Twitter for quite a while and she said that she really liked my videos so I messaged her saying if they ever want any sort of unique artwork I'd be more than happy to give it a go and then when they were looking to do a promotional video for their new single um, all the girls between them decided it'd be great if I could make their portraits using something denim related so they weren't quite sure if I could use actual denim, neither was I, to be fair. <laughs> but then after I chopped up a few different colours, a um, few different tones of denim, um, and collaged it together, revealed their four portraits. So I was really, really pleased with that. And that's got like an amazing amount of views on YouTube. Yeah, I think it's, it's nearing 200,000 or so now. So that's brilliant. And of course, it was shown on the huge screens around the UK, including the O2, during the big reunion tour. So that was an honour in itself. Another one that you did was Anthony Stewart Head from um, Buffy. Yeah. Buffy is like a cult classic of our generation. How was that? I know you met him at Comic Con during the summer. Yes, that's right. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was probably my favourite TV programme growing up and still ever. So I thought it'd be great knowing that I was going to meet him at Comic Con to make his portrait using something sort of Buffy mm -hmm. the Vampire Slayer related. So I thought have a bit of fun, comic blood would be quite cool. And he was absolutely thrilled with it. He didn't actually believe that I was giving it to him and just basically in return for his signature on a piece of paper and he, he was absolutely thrilled with it and we had a nice little photo and he filmed the introduction to my video that's now on YouTube. Do you have a favourite from all the portraits you've done? Do you have a favourite one that like holds a special place for you? Or um, I still think the original Simon Cowell on Toast mainly because that's kind of what kick-started everything off but also I made a portrait of Rupert Murdoch 
back in 2011 using 6,000 images of phone hack victims. And that made front page of The Guardian. So to, see my, to walk into the shop and see my work front page of one of the country's most prestigious newspapers was an absolute honour. It was brilliant. And obviously, being from Cardiff, your your art your art's well known in Cardiff. Do you you teach in schools around here? You do workshops. That must be amazing. How is that for you? Yes, definitely. Um, I travel all around South Wales and do little guest spots in schools, basically. And I do sort of video tutorials on my work, and then get all the kids to have a little go of doing a portrait using an unusual material themselves. And for them, I guess, sort of playing off that whole your parents tell you not to play with your food kind of thing. So I I sort of almost disrupt that and then let them play with their food and hopefully create a nice piece of art at the end of it. So it's just nice to get them to think outside the box a little bit, which is exactly what I do, and show them that being a, you know, a little bit odd and more creative is a good thing. And obviously you had some big news last week, which is... Will you tell us what the big news is? Yes, um, basically I've signed a book deal to have 100 pieces of my artwork um, featured in a book be finished, I need to finish it by August to be released October time, which is my birthday month, so that would be a brilliant present for me. And I never really would have thought that I'd be at that sort of stage where I could release such a, a big book, but fingers crossed it's all going to go okay, and hopefully you'll see it in Tesco's Waterstones around South Wales around Christmas time.